Have you ever gotten emails in your inbox that you wish you could automate? For example, every time I get an email from my manager, I wish I could automatically dump it into the manager folder. Or if I got junk mail, either move it to the deleted items or permanently delete it. Well, you can by using the rules wizard feature. To use it, come up here and click on the tools menu, go down to rules and alerts, and then begin a new rule by clicking on the new rule button. Up at the top, it's going to list some default rules. For example, the first one is moving messages from received from someone to a folder, like we were just talking about, specifically from carry into the manager folder. Now, if none of these defaults work for you, you can come down here in the start from a blank rules section and select check messages when they arrive, and then click next, because when messages arrive, what do you want to check for? What conditions? Are you looking for an email coming from a specific person or with specific words in it? or with specific words in the body or in the subject or body. I mean, you've got a whole list to choose from here. But to keep it simple, we're going to say when we get an email, and we're going to check the box here from a person or a distribution list, we'll have it do something. But the moment I check it up here in step one, down below in step two, it says click on the underlined value or the hyperlink and define who those people or that distribution list is. And I'm going to say it's Carrie Heffernan. Double click on her name and then click OK and then it changes it or it updates it and it says anytime we get an email from Carrie Heffernan in fact I can click on that link and add somebody else if I wanted to and let's go to my local contacts folder and let's also say from Jason Randolph double click click OK and it updates and you can add as many as you want from Carrie or Jason or Bob or Susie and just keep going okay so anytime I get an email it's gonna check for these people if it's from these people then I'm going to go ahead and click Next, and it says, well, what do you want to do with the message if it is from those people? Well, I want to move it to a specified folder. Of course, you can look down below and see what else you can do with those messages, like delete it, permanently delete it, move a copy to a specified folder. I mean, just go down and look through it. You can even play a sound. That'll be fun. In any case, once I check up here in Step 1, then down in Step 2, I need to define what that folder is by clicking on the link here to specify the folder. Well, I'll move them to the Manager folder and click OK, and then click Next, and then it says, are there any exceptions? Except if the subject contains specific words like, you're fired. Well, then I want to keep that in my inbox here and immediately uh, respond to it. If there are no exceptions, and usually for me there aren't, I'll go ahead and click Next, and then before I click Finish, make sure that I have the name of the rules I want it, and this one says the name's going to be Carrier JSON rule, in other words, when I get emails from them, and I'm fine with the name of the rule. And then down below in step two, you can see that once I click finish, it'll turn the rule on. And in addition to that, I can actually have it run when I click finish on the messages already in the inbox. Go ahead and click finish. And if you saw that, all the messages that were there that that rule applied to automatically got moved. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And they should have been moved to the manager folder, and they were. Let me go ahead and go back to my inbox and let me ask Carrie to send me an email so you can see that it's not just the emails that were already in there but any future incoming emails from those two people either Carrie or the other person that I checked there from xp at dreamforce.us usually when an email comes to the inbox it fades in down below so you can see it but it didn't it went right straight to the manager folder the only way I'm gonna know if I have any emails unread emails in a folder that it was moved to by the rules wizard is by looking at that folder and any time that it displays in bold it means that there's an unread message within that folder how many you can look at the number there and it says one so go ahead and go to the folder there's the unread message go ahead and double click open it up read it close out of it it's no longer in bold and now we know that we read all our messages here of course I could go ahead and right click on the message and mark it as unread and then it goes back to bold and with one message unread so this formatting doesn't discriminate from a message that you got from somebody that you haven't read yet versus you actually opening up the message and then reclosing it by right clicking on it and marking it as unread now I have two of them that haven't been read now if I need to make any modifications to that rule simply go back to the tools menu down to rules and alerts select the rule and then go ahead and click on change or you can just double click on the rule and then it pops open and then down below I want to be able to change it that it's just going to be from Carrie that I want her emails moved to the manager folder not also from Jason so I can go ahead and click on the link and then down below just go ahead and click and drag and hit the backspace key to remove that other person then click OK it's updated I can go ahead and click finish and I'm done now when you look at this rule 
notice that it still says Carrie or Jason. That's because I didn't rename the rule. So if I go ahead and double click on it, you can see that the rule only applies to Carrie, but then I have to go through the next several steps to get to the end and then rename the rule by deleting the extra person here and just call it Carrie Heffernan. And of course I can check the box to run the rule now, but there's no email messages from her in my inbox and click finish. And there it is. And then finally, if you don't want to run this rule anymore, you can do one of two things. You can either uncheck it and then click OK, or just go ahead and select it and delete it altogether. 